all these uh, implementations of how they work. But if you're also looking to see how Link plays, uh, keep it locked on to Is Off Smash. He's going to be putting on an art, an art of Link pretty soon. If you guys are looking for something now, please check out the French French Tutor on YouTube. Definitely one of those uh, YouTubers out there who plays Link and he kind of teaches players how to the beginnings of Link. But what's more important here, let's go on to Sweet T. Making a meme for himself in the ten Nintendo uh, Open. Yep, uh, earning one of Reggie's signatures. I think it's going to be a Paxi's. Yeah. Very soon. Okay, but here we go. Let's see how these uh, two get things started. I'm okay, but check. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Controller's not working or something like that. Yeah, they're going to reset the controllers. Okay, something happened. Okay, that was interesting. Anyways. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, oh, real quick, Sitch. I'm oh, so yeah. sorry. Please educate, educate me, Stream. Uh, what is the double blind? Uh, double blind is basically when you tell a third party who you're starting off with because you don't want to like potentially get counterpicked on the, the character selection on the first game because you don't have time to like, oh, I pick first and you pick first and stuff like that. Gotcha. Oh, and actually they're going into it. They decided not to reset the match. Okay. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty gentlemen of both players, I'm not going to lie. This is kind of one of those matchups for Link that I feel that can be pretty... Link has a lot of even matchups, but the one thing that he also has to respect is Ivasaur here. Squirtle's kind of the lightest character in the game now. Uh, easily, I'm sorry, he's one of the top five lightest characters in the game. So Link can actually kill Ivasaur, I'm sorry, um, Squirtle pretty easy. Ivasaur got some disjoints, but he's also able to catch Link on the recovery with the down air as well. So to see how Rex is going to understand Sweetie's edge guard plays like that is going to be super crucial, I think. I mean, Ivasaur is one of the best characters I've able to condition that. Oh, wow, got a little too greedy with those Razor Leaf senses. Didn't remember about that spin attack, I guess. And Rex is going to be able to take out that stock pretty quickly. All right, gets a Nair, another Nair. Man, Link, Link's Nair is actually one of the best aerials. In my opinion, it's actually his fast aerial in the game for Link. It is his fast aerial coming up frame 7. He goes for the up B. I feel like uh, if I was Sweet T, I would want to potentially stick to the Squirtle only because he's going to beat him out in boxing, he's going to beat him out in data, yeah. and then use the Ivy Sword to get those confirmed kills. I don't think we're going to see too much of the Charizard in this matchup in particular. Exactly, and that's kind of one of the things to see. You mentioned earlier, right, when you were talking on stream with Edmund, the way that Leffen sets up his edge guards and how he utilizes each character at certain parts of the ledge and certain parts of the gameplay here. Yeah. Almost like that tech chase with that more smash, but instead, Sweet gives him a, a big back throw takes him out of there. I mean, that's one of the risks of uh, Link committing to his tech chases. He doesn't really have to, or he has to commit really hard. If he misses, then he can potentially get a punish off of it as well. Okay, no spin attack that time around. Sweet is adapting. He knows he can fade back and not get hit by that this time around. Close for the chair. Oh, and another one. Great opportunity there. And Sweet not able to get that tech. Just gets the back air. Oh, I like that. He tried to drag him off stage and then potentially get the double up into the down air to set up for a great edge guard potential. But again, the spin attack out of shield is such a strong option from Link when you know you're getting aerial pressure off stage. Oh, he's got it. off the stage with that hero spin, able to make a good recovery here. I like the fact that Rex is going for a landing there, especially when he's going to go that deep, trying to anticipate how sweet he's going to go. One thing that we also always see from Rex is he likes to go for boomerang, especially when he's a little bit deep. He angles it that way, his opponent goes for a, uh, a running off option, like a run off there, run off fair. Right, he'll be able to catch it with the boomerang and make sure he gets the passage back to the stage. It's a nair. This is potentially big, but he misses that hit at the last second. Yep, that uh, spin attack can potentially get into another edge guard opportunity. Putting him off stage one more time. Gets clipped by the nair. Covering himself as he come back to the stage. Sweetie still trying to find something. I think that's potentially it. Yeah, he got him, and that's gonna be it. Yeah. One of those things about Link's up beyond a shield is it works really in tangent. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the FGC, it works like a DP, right? You usually get your DP out of out of block options or your wake up DP, right? It's your Dragon Punch, your up B, your your Marth up B, your Lucina up B, right? And Link's Link's up B, his hero spin is really good in that situation because if it's if you're being attacked in that way that we see that Sweet T is attacking, it's a get off me option. It's a get off me now. It's die. It's die now, pretty much. So that's one thing that you need to understand when you're attacking Link. I kind of want to see the one thing we're not seeing from Sweet T is going for dash dances. That's kind of one thing that Kano was starting to utilize a little bit too late when he fought Rex. It was a little bit too late. I like the attempts, but let's see if Sweet T can go ahead and change things up with his Pichu now. Yep. Uh, I feel like. Personally, the rats are one of the worst matches for Link's possible. Yes. <laughs> they got I good, agree. They got also a good projectile. They got the boxing. They got the air-to-air. -air. Fast characters. They're hard to hit. Very difficult for Link, but somehow Rex is making it work. 
He's really making it work. Wow. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, dude. He's the lightest character in the game for a reason. And when you have a stage like this, where you give like the space he wants, right? That's the mistake that K9 gave Rex here. You gave him the space. And even then, like I said, if you have a smaller stage, Link still benefits from it. Link has pretty much a good uh, all-around set of great stages to have here. And right now, the one thing I like that Rex is taking here is looking for the spacing net again, right? If he's gonna come at me with these hot projectiles, these thunder jolts, let him take percent. Let me get the whiff punish. Let's see where we can go from there. And now Rex off the stage here, and Sweet Tea prowling for that back air. Alright. Sweet Tea still on the chase to try and get something going. But he's got Rex at a relatively low percent comparatively to what you want your opponent to be at. If you can get that forward smash, get himself off stage. Oh, but the boomerang intercepts him. So quick too, and he used that platform uh, like visual to help cover him as, as well. Mm -hmm. It looked like Sweet Tea wasn't quite expecting that. See that angle from the shield there? He was looking to see what Sweet Tea was going to go for. He was anticipating the back out of shield, the net out of shield. That's what he was looking for. He wanted to make them make the first mistake. And immediately, as I said it right there, Sweet Tea with the back out of shield. Out of shield options are you know pretty common here in Smash Ultimate. Yep. Well, excuse me, that forward tilt. He just pretty threw it out three times and then just. Uh, Use his small hurt box and just went underneath whatever Rex is trying to go underneath. That's the that's the Avatar the Last Bender to to Twinkle Toes. Oh yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't detonate the bomb was nowhere near Rex, so he had no opportunity there. Instead, takes the time to buy himself to go back on the ledge, get the edge guard played. There's the bouncing bomb, and I like the fact that he saw the neutral get up and it's still the bomb. Yeah, I like what Sweet Tea did. He waited for the bounces of the bomb to finish so that the haunted hitbox was gone, and that way he wouldn't be able to cover it as effectively. I'm telling you, man, you're the lightest character in the game. Against that forward tilt across the stage, you're taking the damage. Hey, man, that forward tilt is so slow. If you get hit by that, you kind of deserve it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. This actually is like one of the, it's actually the slowest moves. Nice, gets out of that situation using that roll. Actually, the first time I'm noticing that Rex goes for the roll there. Doesn't do it quite often. Oh! Yeah, that's a tough situation to be in, especially when you go yeah. that low. Sweet Tea just took the bite and knew that he was gonna get that kill. And it's it's actually pretty interesting too because we saw Rex go for the reverse hero spin there, and he would have caught Sweet Tea. Might have potentially killed the bounce uh, with the small with uh, as light as Pichu is. Yeah, I think it was just he was trying to reposition himself before he did the hero spin because he was so far into the bottom of the stage. Yeah, We're and just sure. like that, Sweet Tea immediately bringing it back against Rex. Patience paying off, catching the landing here. That's one thing that Rex got in a couple of here is the landings that he's gotten on Sweet Tea. <laughs> he was bummed to immediate four there. Oh, the directional air dodge, the pressure from the bear. Gets the parry on the Thunder Jolt as well. Back here, gonna put him off stage one more time. What does he use? He uses Boomerang to cover himself. Gonna get clipped by that Thunder Jolt. Is that enough time? It is not! And he gets the spike on the dare. Yeah, I would like to see the bomb get up instead. Uh, but unfortunately, at that situation, I do respect that, you know, one thing that Rex was going for is, please, Sweet Tea, stay on the stage, take my boomerang, take my arrow, I don't want to use my mom get up. And at that situation, Sweet Tea just immediately just forgot about those and went for the kill. That's what he saw, the victory. I feel like, just in general, the first two stocks of the game, Sweet Tea was very hesitant to try to go for those edge guards. Yeah. The final, uh, the first stock, rather. The second stock, once he finally put him in a very low enough position, then he started getting more liberal with those edge guards, and he was able to kill Link early where he really needed it. Exactly. And the one thing I wanted to see from Rex come out of that situation right towards the end was stay a little bit more grounded, man. That's uh, that situation, right? If you're being caught out of shield, oh my God, Sweet Tea has a smile on his face. He knows, <laughs> he knows he's in a world of pain. He's lost time hip several times before. We all know what Olimar does. It ruins our days at times. Ol Olimar is literally, you know, the white collar character. Let my let my minions do my job for me. I know there's a lot of debate and you know debacle about this character in general. And I know the different words get thrown out, like pickman management and stuff like that. But yeah. one thing I will say, when you're trying to chain your combos together, pickman management is actually important. You've got to think about the order of your pickman. It's like, okay, I got a purple hit, then I get a red hit or a white hit or something like that. Keeping that in mind while doing your combos, that's the important part of pickman management. Not what pickman comes up next when you're plucked or whatever. Exactly. It, it's uh, knowing how they work within your combos and within your down smash, which side goes where, things like that. Exactly. And Zero put out a really good tweet talking about um, Pikmin because he mentioned, like, if you give Olimar that, that time to pull out the Pikmin, you're letting him get Pikmin for free. Especially when he's tossing him out there, he could start looking for the proper lineup of Pikmin. So trying to camp Pikmin is, uh, and Olimar is not a great option. So you kind of have to play really in his face. And that's what I kind of like that Sweet Tea is doing. You stay in his face, gets that back air, no tech for Rex. Was not ready for that one. Yeah, it's multi hit, so it's kind of hard to mm -hmm. tech through it. I mean, this is one of the few matchups where Void will not play. Pichu, you'll play a different character, either Roy or Wolf. I, I don't play I, I do the same. 
quite difficult, but here we go. Still working out just fine. But that's kind of one of those things that we see, right, with some players, right? If you're not comfortable with the matchup, Link, we saw how he was able to get game one against Sweet Tea, but Sweet Tea kind of convincingly brought it over against Rex. It's important to know that you need another, you might need a second kit, a secondary character to cover those potential matches you're not comfortable with. Game's got 80 characters, man. And then don't be afraid to pick up one and see what it can do for you. All right, putting him off stage one more time. Can Down air? Get the edge guard. Oh, oh, the drift into the stage just to make Sweet Tea hesitant to try and get the edge guard. Gets that forward tilt, so we see the edge guard phase going off the stage. I like it. Two neutral airs. And yes. Rex taking the time to dip extra low. Says, I don't want to go to that side. Let me go to the other and reset myself here. I can't believe he had enough time to make it to the other side. I thought he might have not reached it in time. But <laughs> there we go. That's Olimar for you. Yeah. He actually didn't have all the Pikmin. So when he came back, he had to start off fresh. And that's kind of one of those things, of course. Olimar's recovery and weight is determined by how many Pikmin he's holding. That forward smash, great opportunity. Reset the stuff at the ledge. At this point, I kind of want to see Sweet Tea stay a little bit grounded here. He has to be careful, but he almost gets the grab and instead goes to Rex. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the up throw. Yeah, he that's what the, I thought. He had the blue Pikmin too, but I guess he didn't think he would kill, so he was a little worried. But we'll have to see. He tries to armor through, but Sweet Tea with the timing. He's not going to get a follow-up afterwards, though. He tries to catch him on the landing, but the platform is there to defend himself. It's kind of like an anything goes Pokemon rule set out here. And at this point, Rex looking for that grab, that up throw. Might change the pace for him. He wants to make sure he stays on the stock lead, of course. I think Stockley gets all of man, it's super daunting. We'll have to say, oh, both of these oh, two so like close. characters, uh, you don't see them live to these high percents quite often. They're usually dead by this point. Yeah. But both of these two, with the survivability, doing an amazing job. But the Forto will finally do a Sweet Tea taking away that next stock. Rex on his last stock for game three. Yeah. Olimar, of course, being one of the featherweight characters in Pichu, being, you know, literally the lightest character in the game, that forward air. Is that forward air forward smash? I'm so sorry. I'm forward smash, I think. Yeah. <laughs> forward smash, able to tie it up with zero percent on the board. Okay, gets those up airs into the nair. Put the boxes one more time. Kills the Pikmin. Not gonna get anything else though. I like it. Sees the spacing here. Doesn't want to go ahead and edge guard. Just wants to toss up the Pikmin. I'll be also looking for a better lineup. Yeah, I like how he always has a yellow on hand just because it has the survivability and those lightning attacks as well. <laughs> so just a little thing to make sure that your attacks are still. Yo, working. man, did you see that forward tilt? <laughs> that was a really big fist. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, one of the trademark moves of Olimar. That definitely does not happen in this game, so as far as I know. Oh, here we oh. go, the parry on that uh, down air with the yellow thing. Not quite going to work out for him, but takes him off stage one more time. Great edge guard from Sweet Tea, and he did it right when he needed to. And it takes the third game, putting himself in a last game situation. Yeah, at that point, I felt that Rex was trying to go a little bit away from the stage, and I feel he had no reason to. He had more opportunities to go back to the stage than go far. He kind of gave Sweet Tea what he wanted in that situation, right? If you're going to be off stage, I'm going to go ahead and hit you with the back end. I'm going to hit you with these other aerials. And that's, that's kind of giving your opponent the winning victory here. So I felt that Rex kind of fumbled the ball there in that last situation. Right. All right, here we go, though. Sweet Tea on the cusp of the winner's side of ground, winner's finals. This is, I'm sorry, winner's finals. Moving into grounds on winner's side. Yep. Words are hard every now and then. Right, but here we go. Let's see. Go for that down throw. And again, I feel like it's uh, part of it is just a matter of I don't know if Rex's Olimar is quite as polished as Sweet Tea's Pichu is. Mm -hmm. Because uh, definitely this matchup is doable. But wow, the jab reset into the down throw pickup, trying to continue on with the combo. Not quite working though. It's kind of one of those things though where Rex had it kind of close last game. He just fumbled the ball and went on stage at the wrong time, right? If I kind of see it might have been a misinput with that up, but he had no reason to be in it. Oh my god, he was being able to survive that down smash. Yeah, great matchup knowledge knowing that he was going to get sucked in and then he would have to tech that. Okay, Rex sets himself on the stage. Now has the Pikmin lineup in play. We saw this lineup the last time, right? You said yellow, able to have that survivability against Pichu. And of course, purple for the kill using that forward tilt. Rex wants the first blood here in this game. Super important, especially when your opponent's on winner at game point. Not able to get anything on that ledge guard. I feel like he's fishing for the grab here. He's tossing up the Pikmin here, looking to see how Sweet Tea is going to respond to it, and he's able to power through with that shield and get the up smash. Yep, very strong move from Olivar. You know, just uh, does his job very well, if I do say so myself. Now it's pretty much up to Rex to see how much extra credit homework he can turn in before the teacher clocks in and says, you know what, give me that stock, put me at even stocks. So far, he's doing a pretty good job surviving. Sweet Tea yet again with that back air at the ledge. That's going to take care of it. Yeah, I mean, Pichu has so many kill options, especially if he doesn't like character like Omar. So it's very easy for Pichu to really bring things back around. Just get a straight hit to be able to get the kill. Doesn't need anything, but gets that dare, not the double dare, though. 
Sweet Tea. Sweet Tea is definitely popping off here because he's trying to go really hard against Rex. And so far, he's keeping it pretty even, Rex, but then up smash looking for a fall, but the upper is so close to it. Oh, no up smash that time around. You can tell he was trying to find the bait back with the dare to get around that up smash, but still, even with Pichu's aerial speed, not quite able to get around it. It's so hard. I feel like it's so hard for Rex to go ahead and get whiff punishes as he was able to do with Blink because he's setting up the Pikmin, but he nearly Sweet Tea comes out with back air and he keeps going for it. And by little does Rex know, Sweet Tea comes close to him with little to no time. Yeah. Great directional air dodge to get some stuff out of there. Ah, oh, not able to find the, the, the stage spike potentially with that neutral air. Okay, Rex kind of playing slow and steady here. He knows he's, the pace is more on to Sweet Tea. He sees those four tilts and raises the shield up against them. Uh, I like it though, using the jab as a boxing option to get him off him. I would have loved to have seen the grab there, but of course, he might have been scared of being uh, spot dodged. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the purple vision gets that fair. What's the LS option gonna be? Rex not able to find anything though, but neither is Sweet Tea, and he gets the up smash again. I think all of these stocks so far in this game have been from up smash with Pikmin. All right, Rex, kind of staying a little bit calm here. Nice back air, seeing where Sweet Tea was going to be on the landing. Seeing Sweet Tea, this is kind of one thing that's also a comfort pick, right? He's last time we saw him play against Link, right, and Olimar, a little bit scared to go for the edge guards. Now that he's feeling it pretty much himself at set point, he's not afraid to go off the stage. Get, go, go for the back airs, go for the downers. Yeah, but he's got to find it one more time and then get it a second time. Not finding these F tilts. Great reliable kill option, but looks like Rex is expecting it, but he's going to get that thunder confirmed into the kill. Sweet Tea not down, but not out. He's only got 67% to the name here, and if Rex losing neutral like that to Sweet Tea takes 31%, Sweet Tea not too far behind. Neutral in his hands. It pressures the recovery very well. He tries to hug the stage. Bring him off stage one more time. There. Gets in a great position, commits to that forward smash, and Rex is quite ready for it, but he's gonna get shielded up in time and the back there. Put him off stage one And I like that forward smash option because Oh no tech! Okay, I, Yo man, I, he was, I was comfortable. I was, I was not expecting that either. <laughs> no, it, I, I, it's one of those deals where like I, I mentioned earlier, right? He got uh Sweet Tea got comfortable going off the stage and going for these aerials, these back airs, these forward airs, these down airs, right? He was so used to it. When when Rex finally decided I'm gonna fight you back, he was not ready for the tech. One thing that I like also about Sweet Tea that he did last game was he went for its more forward smash there, anticipating the roll from Rex. So that's one option that he was also getting used to. Alright, well Rex gonna go ahead and put the Olimar down. Sees himself that he's at set point. He wants to stay on the winner's side. We want to winner's side grand finals. This could be big for Rex, especially in terms of PR, as we are approaching the tail end of the season. Alright, let's see how this goes down. Alright, well he's got much more stage, especially with Town and City here. Of course, like I said, one thing he wasn't able to get with Olimar right, is the spacing, the whiff punishes that he got with Link. Yeah. I like that opportunity because he saw that he was going to come in, try to punish him with a forward smash, but Sweet Tea reacted positively on that one. Uh, and much easier to combo this character rather than Olimar. <laughs> Uh, interesting, but uh, he's if wow, okay, maybe that was one big bait. I don't know, man. That, that was kind of convincing how he got that opening. I'm not gonna lie, man. I am a leak aficionado, but I would have loved to have seen all of my doing. He missed the grab, almost touching death at that situation just for trying to go for the grab. That's one thing that Sweet Tea had over, uh, um, sorry, Red's had over Sweet Tea was the out of shield option, the DP option that he was able to use against Sweet Tea, especially when he come at him with shield. A little bit of a shield standoff there. Nobody wants to grab. Nobody wants to make the move. Just trying to stay safe. Yeah, very scared. Trying to get something going. Oh, and the landing fair. Not able to get that out. Potential edge guard. No, he hugs the stage, so he's a little bit hesitant to try and challenge that. And the fourth that puts him offside to the other stage. The boomerang to cover himself back on the stage. Great opportunity for Rex. Using that down there. Trying to go ahead and see if Sweetie's going to try to challenge him with that one. All right, it's cool, man. I mean, okay. uh, anyway, you guys can't see it, but the, the menu all turned off all the lights for a second. Yeah, no worries. Really well, it's okay, man. It, it's getting hot out here, dude. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. It, yeah, the lights are. These, these players have the, the focus right now. They don't yeah. care about the lights or anything. Especially for looking for the thunder there, but immediately Rex able to escape it, using the downer for safe passes, just trying to make sure that Sweetie is gonna try to go for something cheeky. <laughs> looking for that forward air. Rex pretty much needs to grab him and might be able to kill Sweet Tea with an up throw, especially yeah. with how light Pichu is. But at the same time, Sweet Tea just needs one forward zone or something, but it's a matter of Rex giving it to him. Spacing, oh, but he it. missed that option there. Sweet Tea taking first blood on this game five.
That was a that was a two minute fight for the first stock man. Yeah. Was like, that, was, that was quite grueling, but Sweet T's gonna come out on top of the lead here so far, but up throw. Might actually do it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. He chooses the lightest character in the game, that'll definitely do it for Link. Alright, tosses the bomb. I like it there. <laughs> Able to clank with the mid's ability there against Sweet T. Okay, patience there, I like it. Definitely understanding how Sweet T's been going so ham on the ledge. Oh, oh that could have been an upbeat! Down tilt, but he doesn't get anything afterwards, so Down tilt is a great combo starter for Link, but mm -hmm. it looks like he just couldn't quite get the right positioning on this. The platform looks like it messed it up there. Yeah, it could have been an upbeat if he would have done it for Down tilt, like you said. Upbeat out of shield. Get off me option here. Holds him at the ledge with the bomb there. Sweetie has to respect that and reach himself back to the ledge. That's why we're seeing Rex go for these forwarders on the ledge. Reset Sweetie back off the stage, though. Oh, the bomb explosion, and he air dodges through. But the fear just right outside of Beach's range. The small hurtbox is working so well for Sweet Tea right here. Oh, and he lost him with the DI! He was not ready, Rex. Gets extra credit homework, man, but he really Sweet Tea trying to send this man into the tension. Tell him your credit is not due here. Oh, the bounce smash, though, sends the, uh, the direction he's facing. One more time. Oh, the get up attack. Sweet Team definitely not ready for that one, but he's only been pulling on that stop very, very infrequently. I like it. Sweet Team finally punishing that Nair against Rex, right? We've been seeing Rex go for Nair. Sweet Team just holds the shield. Nice, up to almost into the up air. I like it. That's one thing we always see from Rex going for him, the spacing. He knows what he needs to secure the game, right. and he's always looking for the spacing. When it comes to jab, forward tilt, and other projectiles. Parry, parry the boomerang, get hit by my, uh, my arrow. Oh, great parry. Whoa, whoa! It looked like the the platform messed up on that the back air uh, pulling and hanging. But there we go, gonna drag him to the other side and get that bear. 76%, one good edge guard, one good dare, or something at like 40% against the link. That could potentially be the game here. Yeah. Is that up? He had a shield yet again. Sweet Tea needs to start respecting that. We don't see him go for tomahawk grabs. That's one thing Sweet Tea hasn't been going for. Neither has Rex. Oh, he's looking for the snipe. Not gonna get anything. Oh, no tap. Oh, he lost it. the DI! Rex with the incredible clutch play of the last second. Yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't even irrecoverable. He just bounced so far yeah. out, and he still got KO'd. Sweet, he was so comfortable.